In the last video, we were breaking down the hot debate of Tesla vs. Bide, and today we're continuing the battle of the electric giants to so who really comes out on top, so stay tuned. Welcome to Trade Daily, where we break down all the best stock market news. Like and subscribe to keep up to date with the stock market, and I really hope you enjoy this video. Getting back to where we left off, let's look at how are these companies powering their vehicles. Well, Tesla doesn't mass-produce battery cells. As Sparks, Nevada, Gita Factory is a joint venture with Panasonic, which makes the cells. In China and increasingly in the US, Tesla buys off-the-shelf batteries from cattle. It's increasingly shifting to lithium-iron phosphate batteries. LFP have some cost advantages which have grown because they don't require any cobalt or nickel, unlike lithium-ion batteries. Tesla has long led in getting more out of its batteries though the high-end Lucid Air has higher battery efficiency than Tesla. Tesla is developing its own 4,680 battery cells in a pilot program. The 4,680 batteries don't involve new chemistry. The larger form factor offers the potential for cost savings, but technical challenges remain. BYD batteries, by contrast, are truly in-house. The BYD Blade batteries, a specialized LFP battery, are seen as among the safest available for EV. BYD passed LG to be the world's no-2 EV battery maker in July, but is well behind China's cattle. Growth has mostly come from BYD batteries in its own vehicles, but that is changing. BYD is now supplying Blade batteries to Tesla Berlin. It's a major validation as BYD aims to be a major battery supplier to third-party automakers. The made-in-China Ford Mustang Mach-E uses BYD batteries. Toyota will use BYD batteries and motors in an upcoming small EV for the Chinese market, the BZ3. BYD may be actively involved in Toyota's wider EV push in the coming years. BYD and Tesla are on the forefront of automakers trying to lock up supplies of lithium and other key battery raw materials. Musk has discussed Tesla getting involved in lithium mining, but hasn't done so. Tesla recently proposed a lithium processing plant in Texas. BYD is involved in several lithium mining projects already. Tesla and BYD are more than just EV makers. Tesla has solar and battery storage businesses, but both are just a small part of total revenue. Tesla also generates revenue via its supercharger network. It started to open its supercharger network to non-Tesla vehicles in parts of Europe, where third-party charging stations are common. In the US, the supercharger network is still a big moat for Tesla, but the automaker seems poised to open at least some stations to attract new subsidies. Tesla's self-driving efforts have been a key revenue driver and brand builder. If Tesla is able to create a cheap, vision-only system that is fully autonomous, the payoff will be huge. But full self-driving is not full self-driving. Even FSD Beta is a level 2 driver assist system. While many US and China rivals are starting to roll out level 4 robotaxi services in select urban areas. The Justice Department is conducting a criminal probe of Tesla's self-driving claims, Reuters reported Ox 26. The investigation is not close to a conclusion. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has expanded an autopilot probe multiple times, looking into crashes into stationary emergency vehicles, phantom braking, in-cabin cameras, and even how Tesla assembles reports that claim show autopilot safety benefits. The California DMV in July accused the EV giant of misleading customers about autopilot and FSD. Despite all that, Tesla raised the price of FSD in North America to $15,000 from $12,000 in early September. An Optimus robot prototype was unveiled at Tesla AI Day on Sept 30, with limited mobility. Musk said Optimus should go on sale in 3-5 years for less than $20,000. Most experts say general-purpose humanoid robots are decades away. And just before we continue, we're giving away a $50 Amazon gift card every single day. You just need to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and get the bell on. Also, comment at Love Trade Daily to lock in your entry. Winners will be contacted privately. Good luck. Now let's not waste another second and get right back into the video. BYD Semiconductor, Solar and more, BYD, makes its own chips, which has helped it rapidly expand over the past year while the industry had idle production. The company also has solar and energy storage businesses as well as a variety of other operations. BYD chairman said September 2nd that the automaker will add driver assist systems in 2023. It has several autonomous driving partnerships. BYD has said it will adopt NVIDIA's drive system for autonomous driving. It follows a self-driving partnership with Beidou. Beidou and NVIDIA have long been autonomous driving partners. BYD also says it will use chips from Horizon Robotics in some 2023 models. That follows a driver assist venture with China's Momenta. BYD also has taken a stake in litter supplier RoboSense. 
BYD is starting work on its own in-house chip for smart driving, local media reported in mid-July. Tesla Stock VS BYD Fundamentals Tesla earnings more than tripled to $2.26 a share in 2021, VS 7 to 5 cents in 2020 and just 1 cent in 2019. Tesla earnings rose 69% in Q3 while revenue grew 56%. The top line gain fell short. On the earnings call, Musk said demand remains strong and that Q4 will be epic. But he also said that China and Europe are experiencing some economic weakness, suggesting that's having some impact on demand. With production set to surge in Q4, Tesla said it will make more vehicles than it deliveries for a second straight quarter. It says that's intended to ease logistic challenges and costs. So far, Tesla doesn't appear to be smoothing deliveries in China and key European markets. BYD earnings declined in 2021. Capital spending last year exceeded CAPEX from 2018-20 combined with huge outlays for new auto, battery, and chip plants. EV and FEV production capacity has surged in recent months and continues to increase. That is spurring massive revenue and profit gains this year and beyond. On Oct 28, BYD reported third quarter net income jumped 350% VS a year earlier in local currency terms, with revenue up 116%. Adjusted earnings spiked 923%. Ox 17 BYD gave preliminary third quarter results, saying profit likely surged 334% 365%, with adjusted profit skyrocketing 879% 1015%. Q2 net profit shot up 197% VS a year earlier, with revenue up 68%. Tesla Stock VS BYD Stock Technicals Tesla stock is down 36.1% this year as of Oct 27, according to Market Smith Analysis. BYD stock is all 31.3% after wiping out solid 2022 gains from its late June record highs. Tesla stock hit a record 414.46 in November. On May 24, shares tumbled to a low of 206.84. In recent days, Tesla stock finally undercut its May lows, hitting a 60-month low on Oct 24. Shares have bounced back modestly, hitting resistance at the 21-day line. With Elon Musk closing his Twitter purchase, investor fears of further Tesla stock sales to finance the deal will likely wane. BYD died July 12 on rumors that Warren Buffett would sell or all of his longtime stake. Berkshire Hathaway on August 24 sold 1.33 million H shares, according to a Hong Kong exchange filing on August 30. On SEP 1, Berkshire sold 1.72 million shares. Fears that Buffett will continue selling BYD stock spurred a rush to the exit. Berkshire owns just over 7% of BYD, based on all share classes. BYD stock tumbled on August 30, below its 200-day line. Shares have kept selling off. Buy rose modestly following September deliveries and the sixth deal, but soon fell back. Shares popped Ox 17 on a market bounce and BYD's strong preliminary profit, rising modestly for the week. BYD stock died Oct 24 back to seven-month lows as Chinese EV and internet plays plunged with President Xi Jinping locking down more control. Shares are still near those levels with renewed COVID restrictions and economic concerns weighing on Chinese EV makers. Tesla Stock Market Cap In terms of market cap, Tesla stock vs BYD stock is no contest. Tesla is worth $710.8 billion. That's leagues above BYD $63.7 billion. BYD market cap exceeds that of Rivian stock and Lucid stock combined. It's also above the valuations of GM and Ford. An S&P 500 giant Tesla stock has an array of institutional sponsorship, including many IBD-style mutual funds and other A-plus funds. Tesla stock remains a major holding across ARK Invest's ETF. BYD stock has far less big sponsorship, though Buffett's Berkshire has been a notable investor for years. Kathy Wood's ARK also owns a small stake. Very few stocks can boast both Buffett and Wood as investors. BYD stock is listed in Hong Kong and Shenzhen, and only trades over-the-counter in the US that also means the BIVE stock chart shows a lot of minigaps. Tesla stock vs. BYD stock In many ways, BYD is what Tesla claims or aspires to be. BYD makes its own batteries and chips, as well as many other key parts. It's selling its batteries to other automakers, including Tesla itself. Musk has long touted a goal of $25,000 Tesla. BYD already sells many EV at or below $25,000 and at profit. Musk has mulled getting involved in lithium mining. BYD already is. 
BYD EV and FEV unit sales have raced past Tesla's unit sales, with the automaker accelerating production and moving toward more upscale offerings. For now, Tesla sells more far more pure electrics than BYD, but the gap is narrowing. And at much higher price points, both are reporting booming earnings. BYD is expanding into several big markets, with several more in the next few weeks and months. Both EV giants are delivering far more vehicles than rivals, though Tesla does face some demand concerns. Tesla stock and BYD stock were among the biggest EV winners in 2021. Both are down sharply in 2022 and need serious repair. So Tesla stock vs BYD stock. Personally, I believe that Tesla will come out on top when all this said and done how many startups you know whose only major issue is meeting the demand for their amazing products while also being the top EV producer in the industry. BYD is a strong competitor, but Tesla is definitely the king of the EV market. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. I'd like to give a huge shout out to anyone who's made it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd also like to make it clear that this is a news and entertainment video, not investment advice. You should always do your own research and speak to a financial advisor before making any investments. Thank you all so much for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the chance to win up to $20,000 in Amazon gift cards. And we'll see you in the next video. If you want more crazy trade news, how about this video we did?